What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. So tell us suggest guys, we're gonna be going over the aluminum watch band here from the folks at Nomad. This is obviously for your Apple Watch Series 1 to 8 and even the newest 49 millimeter Apple Watch 8 Ultra. With that said though, the watch band here from Nomad was provided by Nomad. However, this is not a sponsored video. I'm really excited to be able to review this brand new watch band to be able to level up your lifestyle, have it match and definitely turn eyes. This is the aluminum watch band that supports 45 millimeter, 44, 49 space gray Apple watches. Uh, what's great about this here is that it supports all Apple watch series one to eight Ultra and the SE, which is really, really exciting. I really, really like Nomad as they are proudly carbon neutral, meaning that all their products and materials have a net positive on the climate, as well as it's high quality aluminum and not these alloys or this fake chrome stuff. This stuff is legit. With that said, let's go ahead and unbox it, show you what that looks like. Oh my goodness, the presentation is incredible. Comes with the tools to be able to adjust it here to fit your wrist. And uh, look at that, close up here you can see each aluminum rung is made of very high quality polished material. It looks really, really good. You got the tool to be able to take out the little rivets, the little pieces. And uh, after you're done here, you just go ahead and recycle it because everything here is recyclable. On the inside here is your resizing instructions. It's pretty straightforward. All right, let's go ahead and take it out here. It is very, very rigid. I am really excited about that. Underneath each strap here are additional spare pins and accessories here to be able to resize it and use it the way that you feel. And then obviously here on the bottom side is the little device to be able to push the little rungs out. Alrighty, showing you here some of the features. It's got a magnetic snap on, which is really, really nice. As soon as it gets close, it snaps on. Press the button here to be able to deactivate it, pull it off, snap it off, and it's just fine from there. Look at that, that's really high quality, I really like that. All right, to attach it here, pretty straightforward. It follows the, the same standard here. This is clearly gonna be much bigger here than my wrist, so we're gonna have to adjust it, but just showing you here, off rip here, this is what it looks like when it's all attached. Snapping it into place is pretty straightforward. You can do it with one hand. It just grips right on there and there you have it. I'm gonna have to obviously take off a couple of these pieces to be able to get it in the right spot. Okay, let's go ahead and show you how to take off the pin here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, first measure a couple of these rungs here. We've got a little tiny one, so we're not gonna touch that. We'll go one, two, and one up removing these two here from the aluminum watch band. You wanna go ahead and line up here, the pin here with where you can push it through. You can kind of guess it, guesstimate it, make sure you line it up and, and the pin's gonna make sure and go through that little crevice right there. You're gonna apply some pressure, slowly push it and you can feel it give. And you keep going until you can feel it kind of pop off. It's gonna go loose and come out. There we go, I heard it pop, pull it out. That's the main rod of the joint. Twist it to completely take it out here. And then the way that the hinge works or, or the way that it works is it's got a second smaller cylindrical tube that actually accepts the first pin. You can see that that's how it interlocks by going inside of the pin and you press it, press fit in order for it to work. Okay, next step here is taking off two of these slats. So basically what you do is you go one, two, and then you do the far right. So you're basically doing two right pins, taking two right pins off in order for you to attach it together. So I follow the same instructions, line up the pin head, give it a little push. You can see that it comes out. There you have it, we've removed two of them. And now you can see that they're there. Okay, the next step I find very, very fun here is placing the additional uh, accessory here. This It comes with this little head cap. This is how you're gonna be pushing it back into place. You wanna screw it all the way out. You wanna set up your pins here by getting a small one. That's gonna be placing through the center. Then you're gonna be connecting the two halves. Once you connect the two halves, you're gonna align 
the hole there and place it through. If you, if, if you feel the pin go all the way through, then you've got the wrong direction. You need to flip the pin the other way. It should get stuck about halfway. In this case, it got stuck almost to the very end. So all we're gonna need to do is just push that through here with the head cap. Okay, you're gonna find it. You're gonna push it into place. There we go. All right, and now it's pushed flush. As you can see, we've removed not only one, but we've shrunk both of them by two straps, hopefully giving me enough to be able to go. Okay, at this point here, we're gonna make sure that the Nomad is facing the right direction, and we're gonna be placing it depending on which orientation you have the crown up or down. I'm left-handed, so it's probably opposite for you guys. Showing you here now what this looks like. Let's go ahead and attach it to our wrist. Should magnetize, give it a little push, and there it is. That's a little bit too loose. Some people like it loose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go probably two more. Okay, I've taken two more off screen here, and now it fits just nice. I love it. I don't. I have about one rung of clearance here, so it's not gonna hurt my wrist or take or cut the circulation off. But what's great here as well is I'm still gonna be able to get a nice read. It's nice on the wrist and it fits great. It doesn't pull my hair like the other one does and it feels fantastic and still what, and it still feels light on the wrist. And I can still shake it a little bit if needed and uh, this is gonna be exactly what I need. All right, my punyos, it's completed. Finally, I took off six of the different links and it feels fantastic on the wrist. This is certainly never gonna be taken off again. I think these are the best out there. This is like anodized, aluminized links and uh, made out of really high quality material. What's great here that I read as well is that you can take it in the pool. Otherwise, you can check out some of the other Nomad uh, sports watch wristbands if that's something that you're interested in if it's a little more affordable with that said guys This is not a sponsored video. However, the folks at Nomad did give this to me complimentary uh, Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. They are affiliate links Nonetheless, this is a fantastic product here. Uh, my only drawback here is it was a little uh, Confusing at the beginning to install it nonetheless with some practice I was able to get it on and off quite quickly. However, I did punch through about 12 pins so it was a little annoying having to manage those little small parts however the end result is fantastic it looks great on the wrist and it's certainly something that's going to lift your lifestyle hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more guys we'll catch you on the next one